In a world propelled by technological marvels, where innovation reigns supreme, there lies a shadowed underbelly that demands our attention. Welcome to the dark side of tech, uncovering ethical dilemmas in the industry, a riveting exploration into the complex moral quandaries that arise in a landscape driven by advancement and convenience. In today's video, we're going on a journey into the world of technology. We'll be looking at things like how our private information can sometimes be used without us knowing, how computer programs might have unfair preferences, and how too much new stuff might affect our rights. It's like sailing through a sea of challenges where technology and society meet. We'll see how these things are connected and ask ourselves if the future will be smooth or bumpy. Can the problems that come with new technology change how we live? Let's dive in and find out more about the important stuff that shapes our digital world. Data Privacy Invasion In our digital lives, a significant challenge is emerging. In a world where our personal details can be gathered, sold, and utilized without our say-so, our privacy is slowly slipping away. This makes us susceptible to issues like hackers, identity theft, and major corporations having excessive knowledge about us. Today, we use technology a lot and share our personal information. This can give us customized ads and easy online experiences. But it also means we give some of our private info to companies and computers. How much of our private lives are we willing to share in exchange for the convenience technology provides? As technology gets better, it's hard to decide how much info to share and how much to keep private. Figuring out the right balance between keeping our data safe and enjoying the good parts of technology is a big challenge. We need to think about what data we're okay with sharing, what might happen if it's not private, and what companies should do responsibly. This is like walking a tightrope. We have to decide how much privacy we're okay with giving up to enjoy of all the cool things that technology offers us. Algorithmic Bias and Discrimination The algorithms that govern our digital experiences are not neutral entities. Ingrained biases have led to instances of discrimination, perpetuating societal inequalities in areas ranging from hiring practices to criminal justice. Algorithms learn from historical data, but they also inherit the biases present in that data. It's imperative that we address these biases to ensure fairness and equal treatment for all. Tech Addiction and Mental Health Technology's appeal can quickly become like a strong habit that harms our mental health. When we spend a lot of time looking at screens and social media grabs our attention, we worry about how it affects our minds, especially for younger people. We might wonder, can the devices meant to bring us closer end up making us feel more alone? Always using gadgets can make us feel lonely, worried, and sad. Figuring out how to enjoy the good things about technology without letting it hurt us too much is a tricky task. Surveillance Society The ubiquity of technology has given rise to a surveillance society where our every move is recorded, analyzed, and stored. This can make us feel both safe and uneasy at the same time. While this can enhance security and help us feel protected, it also raises alarms about the erosion of personal freedoms and the potential for abuse. It's like having someone watch over us all the time, which can be comforting, but also make us worried about our privacy. Striking the right balance between security and civil liberties is a delicate task. It's like trying to find the right amount of rules to keep us safe without taking away our freedom. We must make sure that technology is a tool for protection, not a weapon of oppression. It's important to use technology in a way that keeps us safe while still respecting our rights and feelings. AI and Job Displacement As technology like AI and robots get better, we might feel excited and worried. They can do things faster and better, but they might also take away some jobs. This can make us unsure about our careers. Even though AI is good at getting things done, it makes us think about keeping our jobs safe. It's like wondering if we'll have work in the future. This situation tells us that being ready to learn new things is really important. Just like how we learn new stuff like riding a bike or playing music, we might need to learn new things for new jobs. The quick changes in technology need us to be ready. It's like getting ready for a race that keeps changing its path. We should spend time and effort on learning and training so that we can do well in a world where AI is a big part of how things happen. 
This way, we can feel good about the future, knowing we have the skills to do well in a world with lots of AI. Misinformation and Disinformation The digital age has brought about a significant challenge, the widespread presence of false information and deceptive content. It's becoming harder to tell what's true and what's not. Fake news and deep fake videos play with our understanding of reality, and this poses a big problem for our democratic societies. Now, more than ever, we need to question what we see online. Can we really believe everything we come across? The surge of misinformation asks us to be smart consumers of information and think critically about what we encounter. This era of information sharing also requires us to take responsibility. With all the information available at our fingertips, we need to be careful about where we get our news. Ethical Responsibilities of Tech Giants Amidst these ethical quandaries, tech giants bear a significant responsibility. From safeguarding user data to addressing biases and algorithms, these industry leaders wield immense power in shaping the ethical landscape of technology. With great power comes great responsibility. Tech companies must prioritize ethical considerations in their product development, ensuring that the innovations they bring to life enhance human well-being. Digital Divide and Accessibility The promise of technology's benefits isn't the same for everyone. Some people have access to all the good things that technology brings, while others don't. This creates a gap called the digital divide, which makes inequalities even bigger in things like education, healthcare, and jobs. When some people have lots of cool technology and others don't, it can make us feel like the world isn't fair. People might not have the same chances to learn, get healthy, or find good jobs. To make things better, we need to bridge this divide. It's like building a bridge between two places that are far apart. We have to make sure that everyone, no matter where they come from, can use technology to make their lives better. Creating a fair society means giving everyone the chance to use technology's power. So how can we make sure that nobody is left behind when it comes to technology? It's important to work together to make sure everyone has the same opportunities, no matter who they are or where they live. Autonomous Weapons and Ethics in Warfare The fast progress of autonomous weapons brings up big ethical questions about using technology in wars. When we have machines that can decide who lives and who dies, it makes us think about what's right and wrong. It also makes us wonder about the choices humans should make. The moral problem is like a tough puzzle. We have to decide if it's okay to let machines take over in battles. It's like asking if we should let robots make big decisions about life and death. Figuring out the right thing to do is really important. How can we use technology in a way that helps people and follows the rules of the world? It's a big responsibility to make sure that technology doesn't hurt humanity and that we do the right thing in wars. Cultivating Digital Citizenship Navigating the complexities of the digital age requires a new form of literacy, digital citizenship, it's not only about understanding technology, but also about being responsible and ethical users who contribute positively to the digital ecosystem. Just as we teach children about ethics and values, we must educate them about responsible digital behavior. Empowering individuals with the knowledge to critically assess information and engage in respectful online interactions is essential. Moving ahead together needs everyone to work together, making rules, being clear about things, understanding how technology works, and taking responsibility. It's like reminding ourselves to think about the decisions we make and what's right and wrong in a world that's very different because of technology. From coming up with new ideas to thinking about our actions, from making things better to sticking to what's right, our path through the tricky questions about technology's ethics reminds us that creating a good digital future isn't just something we can choose to do. It's something we really have to do. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let us know your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.